Hello, my precious friends. Welcome back to Flow, your 30-day yoga journey. It's day 22. Truth. Let's get started. Come on down to the ground. Sit up nice and tall. And we're gonna take the left palm face up and place the right palm on top of it. And then allow your palms to rest gently in your lap. Don't let me rush you here. Take your time getting settled in. And just start to notice where you're at today. How's your energy? Start to lengthen through the crown of the head, bringing that attention, your awareness to your spine. Maybe close your eyes if you haven't already or soften your gaze and just take a moment to listen, to scan to acknowledge who you are and where you are today. Ah, the beauty of regular yoga practice. Self-inquiry. Once again, the invitation to bring your curiosity And I'm here to cheerlead you in honoring your truth. Start to gently deepen your breath. Relaxing the shoulders down. And finding that gentle lift in your heart. Slowing everything down here. I know it can be challenging. And slowly bat the eyelashes open. Let's come forward onto all fours. Really spread the fingertips wide. Hi, Benji. <laughs> Drop the belly whenever you're ready. Inhale, let's start moving. Drop the belly, open the chest, cow pose. Exhale, round through. Now I'm gonna let you move at your pace today, listening to the sound of your breath here. So find that textured, textured breath, <laughs> that audible breath, and maybe keep a soft gaze or close your eyes here. I'll move alongside you. Really listening to the body here. And on your next inhale, bring it back to tabletop position. Curl the toes and walk the hands all the way back to your squat. Maybe you start to notice the heels coming a little bit closer to the ground. Maybe you start to bring some of the lessons of our other practices into these moments of repetition, allowing the breath to really influence your experience here in the shape. Just play. And then we'll walk the hands all the way out to plank, strong and steady, finding that sukha, that ease wherever we can, marrying it with the stability that we find when we focus on the danda from the crown to the tail. Abs start to wake up a little bit here, activating the center 
of the body, the energetic center. Maybe we find a gentle movement, a sawing forward and back. And when you're ready, we'll take the hips up high and send them back for downward facing dog. Inhale in deeply. Exhale out through the mouth and stick your tongue out. Again, inhale in deeply through the nose. This is a lion's breath, tongue out. Nice. Slowly walk the feet towards the front edge of your mat. We'll meet in the forward fold, standing at the top. <laughs> Part of the home yoga practice definitely is being honest <laughs> about who you're sharing your space with. No need to have somebody else's idea of sanctuary here. It doesn't need to be quiet. It doesn't need to be perfectly set up. All you have to do is show up. Drop into the breath here. Shake out the head a little yes, a little no. And then when you're ready, bend those knees, tuck the chin into the chest, really find that articulation through the spine as we slowly roll up to mountain. Maybe the fingertips trace the fronts of the legs. Heart lifts, of course. And when you get there, just take a moment to close your eyes or soften your gaze and just embody this posture, Tadasana, whatever that means to you. Focusing on the how, finding that upward current of energy through the front body, that downward current of energy through the back body. On your next inhale, bat the eyelashes open, reach for the sky. Exhale, diving in, wiggle the fingertips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, your version, find length. Exhale, follow the breath back down into the fold. Good, root to rise here, ground through all four corners of the feet. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands slowly down to our sides. From here, send the fingertips forward, reach palms face down, then plug the shoulders back in space. So you're lifting the heart, you're drawing the shoulder blades together. Then take the fingertips down like so, little zombie arms. And then right thumb's gonna come to the center of your left palm. <laughs> and slowly we're gonna press into that right thumb, feeling that stretch through the forearm here. Like so. And we'll flip it. Take the right hand to the tips of the fingers. Press the palm forward. Try to keep those shoulders back. And then switch. Zombie arms. Left thumb to the center of the right palm. And we're looking for a nice stretch here. And then flip the right palm up. Left hand to the fingertips. And then release. Fingertips go down to come up. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, halfway lift your version. Exhale, soften and fold. Root to rise, bend the knees. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. Shift your weight to your left foot. Imagine that marionette string lifting your right knee up. We're gonna keep the hands at our sides or maybe it feels more stable to bring the palms together in prayer. You can also bring fingertips to a piece of furniture or a wall. And in this standing one-legged Tadasana, we're gonna rotate the right ankle one way. 
Keep the shoulders relaxed. And then opposite direction. Hold on to your focus. Calm your breath. Nice, then from here, kick the right heel back. Again, feel free to use some support if you need to. Quad stretch, nice and easy. <laughs> Famous last words, nice and easy. But just a quad stretch here. Pulling the right heel towards the glute, paying attention to the spine, to the pelvis. And then switching to the other side. Take your time. First, moving into that standing one-legged Tadasana, finding rotation in the ankle one way. Shoulders down, heart lifts. Reverse it and just notice how this side is different. Quad stretch. Holding on to your focus. Calm in your breath. And release. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to soften and bow. Bend the knees, step one foot back, then the other. Downward facing dog, hips up high and back. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm laughing because of where Benji is and where I know I'm headed. Okay, up and over the hurdle. Navel draws in and up. Try to really articulate through the spine here, nice and slow as you shift forward into your plank. Gaze straight down, reach the heels back. Abs turned on, hug the low ribs. Inhale, look forward, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Inhale to rise up, cobra, your version. Exhale to soften and release. Press up to plank or all fours, inhale. Good, exhale, send it back. Stay here, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, lion's breath, tongue out. You can take your gaze to the third eye on the exhale. Let's give it a try. Inhale in deeply, lion's breath, tongue out. <sighs> nice, bend the knees, inhale to look forward. Exhale to make your way to the top, feet together, really together. Uttanasana, forward fold. Root to rise here, spread the fingertips, bend the knees, ground through the feet as you rise up, reach for the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. Observe your breath. Beautiful. From here, we'll bring the palms together, shift the weight to the left foot. Slowly lengthen through the crown of the head as you lift your right knee all the way up, standing one-legged Tadasana. This time, we're gonna grab the right ankle and bring it into the inseam of the left inner thigh or the left calf or the left ankle. Virksasana tree pose. Find external rotation in the right hip. Press away from your standing leg. Lift the sternum to the thumbs. Now there's nothing like a balancing posture and especially a good old classic <laughs> to help you find your truth of the day. So if you're a dancing tree, let it be so. If you're a swaying tree, Right on. Whatever it is today, find your focus, calm your breath, and use your breath to create the experience in the posture. If you want a little challenge, maybe we reach the fingertips up. Even more of a challenge, maybe we send the gaze, our drishti, up towards the sky. And even more of a challenge, maybe we close the eyes. Slowly bring the palms together. Let them come back down to your heart space and we'll switch. 
second side. Shift your weight to the right foot, slowly lift the left knee up, find center. Take the left foot to the right inner thigh or right inner calf or ankle. Use your right leg to meet your left foot. We're not just pressing the left foot in, but we're finding that danda, that line, the shashumna, the midline here. Focus on your breath. Palms come together. They fall back down to your heart space. And we can release, let it go. Last time, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Follow your breath, exhale all the way down. Walk the feet as wide as your mat. Turn the toes out and slowly bend the knees, drop your center, come into a squat. Bring the palms together, press the elbows into the legs, squeeze the legs to the elbows and try to find length in the crown. Breathe deep into your belly here. Slow exhale. One more time, big belly breath. Slow exhale. Lovely, from here, keep the feet active. We're gonna slowly bring the fingertips behind, come right into a half boat. Shins lifting towards the sky. You can capture the backs of the legs here, breathe. Work to get this lift through the heart. So if you're collapsed here, instead of focusing on the legs, start by finding this Slow lift, 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 lift in the torso. And then in time, we might release the fingertips and in time, we might straighten the legs. Breathe, 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 breathe. Soften the skin of the face. Squeeze the legs together. And then slowly release everything to the earth. Relax the shoulders into the mat. Working with Benji here, and then <laughs> hug the right knee into the chest. Inhale, exhale, take it over into a twist. Nice supine twist. Right shoulder really actively reaches towards the earth here. And nice wide lateral breaths here, filling all four sides of the torso as you breathe in. And as you exhale, it softens. Lovely, bring it back to center. Hug the left knee into the chest. And guide it over to the right, actively reaching that left shoulder down this time. And again, find the expansion into all four sides of the torso as you breathe in. And soften as you breathe out. Slowly bring it back to center, extend the legs out long. Take a deep breath in and exhale, lion's breath, tongue out. In case you missed it, we're gonna do one more. <laughs> deep breath in. Don't think. Oh, and then my body just reacts to that breath. Notice if yours did too, if yours does too. Thank you with all my heart and soul for showing up today for yourself and for sharing your valuable time and energy with me. Let's bring the palms together. Thumbs to third eye. I'll take one final breath in together. And out together to close this practice. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.